Let's do some examples of simplifying trigonometric expressions. So let's say that I have one minus sine squared theta, and this whole thing times cosine, cosine squared theta. So how could I simplify this? Well, the one thing that we do know, and this is the most fundamental trig identity, this comes straight out of the unit circle, is that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one. And then if we subtract sine squared theta from both sides, we get cosine squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. So we have two options. We could either replace this one minus sine squared theta with the cosine squared theta, or we could replace this cosine squared theta with the one minus sine squared theta. Well, I'd prefer to do the former because this is a more complicated expression. So if I can replace this, if I can replace this with the cosine squared theta, then I think I'm simplifying this. So let's see, this will be cosine squared theta times another cosine squared theta. And so all of this is going to simplify to, this is cosine theta times cosine theta times cosine theta times cosine theta. Well, that's just going to be cosine to the fourth of theta. Let's do another example. Let's say, let's say that we have, let's say that we have sine squared theta, sine squared theta, all of that over, all of that over one minus sine squared theta. What is this going to be equal to? Well, we already know that one minus sine squared theta is the same thing as cosine squared theta, so it's going to be sine squared theta over, over this thing is the same thing as cosine squared theta, we just saw that, over cosine squared theta, which is going to be equal to, you could view this as sine theta over cosine theta, whole quantity squared. Well, what's sine over cosine? That's tangent. So this is equal to tangent squared theta. Let's do one more example. Let's say that we had, let's say that we have cosine squared theta plus one minus, plus one minus, actually let's make it this way, plus one plus sine squared theta sine squared theta. What is this going to be? Well, you might be tempted, especially with the way I wrote the colors, to think, hey, is there some identity for one plus sine squared theta? But this is really all about rearranging it to realize that, gee, I, by the unit circle definition, I know what cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta for any given theta is going to be equal to one. So this is going to be equal to one plus this one right over here, plus this one over here, which is equal to two.